In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for SRBr2 plus K2SO4, strontium bromide plus potassium sulfate. So the first thing we need to do with this net ionic equation, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. We have two potassium atoms here and just one here. Let's put a two in front of the KBr. Potassium atoms are balanced. We have two bromine atoms, two bromine atoms here, strontium, strontium, those are balanced. And then we have a sulfate on each side. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, bromides, they're pretty soluble. So we're going to put an AQ. That's going to be aqueous, dissolve, split apart into its ions. Potassium compounds with potassium in them, very soluble. And sulfates in general are very soluble. Strontium sulfate, though, this is kind of an exception. So let's look this up on our solubility rules here just to check. So we find that most sulfates are soluble, like our potassium sulfate, with a few exceptions, and right here, strontium. So this is going to be insoluble. That means when these two substances react, this won't dissolve in water. It'll be a solid. So we're going to put a solid there. It'll be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have our solid strontium sulfate. And then here for KBr, we have a potassium compound and our bromide. So that's going to be aqueous. That'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. And this is going to give us the complete ionic equation. So strontium is in group two. That's two plus. And then that bromide, that's Br. That's going to be one minus. We have two of them. So we'll have our SR2+, plus, our strontium ion. I won't write the states now. Let's do that later. Then I have two bromide ions, that Br minus. Potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table. So each one of these will be one plus. And the whole sulfate ion, that's two minus. Good one to remember. So we'll have two of the potassium ions, 2K plus, and then we'll have the strontium ion. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products with net ionic equations, we don't split apart solids. This is our precipitate. We're not going to split that apart. So we're just going to call this SRSO4. Then we said potassium was 1 plus the bromide ion, 1 minus. So two potassium ions, just like the reactants, plus we have two bromide ions, just like the reactants as well. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I see in the reactants here, I have two bromide ions. I also have those two bromide ions in the products. Let's cross those out. Those are spectator ions. Two potassium ions, and then again in the products. Spectator ions. Cross them out. What's left is the net ionic equation for SRBr2 plus K2SO4. I'll clean this up, write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for SRBr2 plus K2SO4. We have atoms. They're the same on both sides, so they're balanced. And the charge is balanced, too. We have 2 plus, 2 minus. That gives us a net charge of 0 in the reactants. In the products, it's a neutral compound, so net charge is 0. Charge is balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for strontium bromide plus potassium sulfate. Thanks for watching.